I'm Dominic Marino. Did my residency up in Michigan at the Michigan State University in orthopedic surgery, and I did my fellowship on the West Coast in Tampa at the Florida Orthopedic Institute in Adult Reconstruction. So the Mako robotic arm technology system is both preoperative and interoperative robotics. You know, preoperative will be able to assess the patient's orientation and anatomy in relation to their pelvis in relation to their spine. The accuracy of the robot, you know, really depends on that preoperative evaluation. There's a CT scan done of this patient preoperatively and sent to the engineers. What that allows us to do is put that cup in the exact orientation that we plan for preoperatively that best gives that patient the most successful outcome postoperatively. Where I see this valued the most is, you know, in hip surgery in particular, folks that had significant spinal pelvic fixation, folks that have had previous fusion, stiff spines, abnormal orientation, significant leg length discrepancies or offset and, you know, differences, and allows us to preoperatively plan and, you know, change those differences intraoperatively and give them the most successful outcome. So the surgery is still done by me. While this is a robotic arm assisted device, the device is still under my power. It's the placement, the orientation, and its relation to the patient that is controlled by the robot, but it's still wholeheartedly done by an orthopedic surgeon. I think the purchase of this make a robot by the foundation here at Halifax Hospital is really crucial. It allows the community of orthopedic surgeons in this area to be competitive with the technological advancements that are happening in orthopedics for the betterment of the patient's long-term outcomes.